to start off the Champions League quarterfinals, we've got Arsenal versus Bayern. And Arsenal have actually won the last two games against Bayern, but <laughs> they weren't in any important competition. They were in the Champions Cup. So Yeah, I was gonna say, well, what I don't remember that at all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much that matters. <laughs> in actual competitions, Bayern have beaten Arsenal five one three times in a row. Yeah, I had that written down as well. <laughs> yeah. The last one was like seven years ago, but so times have changed since then. Yeah. And Bayern do love to beat a uh English team, don't they? They beat Spurs se- was it seven two they beat Spurs overall? Like was that two or three years ago? I've predicted Arsenal to win two one pretty much just because they're at home. I don't like Arsenal are probably playing a bit better than Bayern are at the moment as well. Yeah, definitely. I've said two one as well. Um, I think Arsenal being at home, I think they'll definitely win this one. And then the quite it'll be close at um Bayern's ground as well. Yeah. But Arsenal being in such good form this season. Like they've won 10, 10 out of eleven games and drawn the other one against City since the start of January. Bayern are gonna lose the Bundesliga for the first time since like twenty twelve or something. It's all over the place. Like they won eight one and five two before the international break and then they've lost two in a row since. All right. And then we've got Real Madrid versus Man City. Uh, which I think is going to be very interesting because they are the last two Champions League winners going up against each other. So, and they also played each other in the semis last year. Which... It's actually the third year in a row they've drawn each other. Real Madrid managed to pull a draw against City at home last year, but then Man City smashed them at the Etihad. So I think Real Madrid's going to win this time. I think they'll win 2-1 at home, but I don't know. It's going to be really close, I think. Yeah, it's such a hard one to predict because they're both in such good form. Um, City undefeated in 25 games, Madrid undefeated in 13 games, and they've only lost twice all season as well. So yeah. I've gone 3 2 based on Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid will win at home, and both teams just score a lot of goals in general. Yeah. I think it'll be a high scoring game. I think they had a 4 3 game a couple of years ago. I think it'll be similar to that one. Yeah, it's going to be. An interesting game for sure. I think whoever wins it is going to be favourite to win the whole thing. You did you predicted at the start of the season Real Madrid to win it, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. So I hope they do. I don't want City winning. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we've got PSG versus Barcelona, which is going to be very hard to predict because PSG have gone out before the semis for the last two years, but Barcelona haven't even made the knockout rounds at all for the last two years. I think the result of this game kind of depends on who scores first. If Barcelona scores first, I reckon PSG might be able to scrape out a draw. But I think if PSG score first at home, I think they'll win. PSG are favourites, but and they're going to win the league again. But of course they are. Um, and they're coming up against an informed Barcelona team, so I think they're going to struggle a bit. I think the first league is going to be one-one, but I think Barcelona will win the tie at home. I predicted, I predicted one all as well. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at the last 10 times PSG got knocked out of the Champions League. And they've actually won the first leg four times out of those 10 and drawn twice. Really? So that seems to be the second leg where they just ruin it. Yeah. So I think it'll be like, yeah, as I said, 1-1 one, one in this game. And then Barca will just smash them in the second leg. All right. To finish the quarterfinals off, we've got Atletico versus Dortmund. And in the round of 16, you said that Either Dortmund or PSV, no matter what, they're not getting through the next <laughs> round. But they got their probably the easiest team to play against out of like anyone yeah. they could have versed. So if they're going to go through to the next round, it's Atletico is the team to do it against. I actually saw a TikTok of both clubs like wanting each other and they were celebrating <laughs> getting each other. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Because <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> it was like the actual account that tweeted it. Uh, yeah. That put it up on TikTok. Yeah. I think just because Atletico are at home, I think they'll win 3-2, I said. And I, I think it could be high scoring because... I don't even know. Like, it's so hard to predict Atletico <laughs> because sometimes they have really tight, low-scoring games. But I think they had a 4-3 game this year or a 3-2 in the group stages. Like they drew one all against Lazio in their in their first group stage match, and then they beat Celtic six 0 They had a three two game against Feyenoord, so it's really hard to predict the amount of goals that they that are going to get scored in this game. I think it's a pretty even matchup. They're both not great, 
Both teams are pretty <laughs> consistent. Um, I thought he'd go not doing that well in the league, fighting for fourth at best. But the champions form has been really good. So they might shock everyone and make the final. But yeah. I don't know. I've said 1-1 one, one for the first leg. And then second leg, I don't know. It could go either way. Um, Dortmund have won four in a row. Well, they did win four in a row. And then they were lost to Stuttgart yesterday. And have now dropped to fifth. So not great quality in terms of league position for either team. So yeah. Got a pretty, pretty even matchup. And- and Dortmund just beat Bayern last week, so yeah, yeah, they're they're both a bit inconsistent with the results they have, which probably explains their um, league positions. But yeah, I don't think any result here would surprise me. Like I've said a draw, but it could easily be like three 0 either way. Yeah, yeah, 